This is not your typical science experiment. This is not a spooky story told to scare you. This is the real deal. We're talking about an experiment that will make your spine tingle with fear. An American scientist with an audacious plan to study the effects of overcrowding on mice behavior. But little did he know that his experiment would go on to become one of the most bone-chilling scientific studies ever conducted. Calhoun's experiment was not a one-time deal. No, he repeated it a whopping 25 times, each time with more and more mice. And what did he find? Well, let's just say it wasn't pretty. The utopia that scientists dream of turned into a living nightmare. In July 1968, Calhoun introduced eight albino mice into the Universe 25, and following an adjustment period, three months later, the first pups were born and the population doubled every 55 days afterward. From there, serious problems started appearing. In the realm of mice, where survival is a constant struggle, the realm of mouse utopia emerged as an anomaly. Within its boundaries, the usual fate of high infant mortality was defied, and the young ones thrived. However, this apparent paradise birthed a host of unforeseen challenges. Rodents have social hierarchies, where dominant alpha males reign supreme, controlling their coveted harems of females. Their reign is forged through relentless battles, with challengers engaging in fierce combat for dominance. Yet, in the confines of Mouse Utopia, the defeated were denied escape, forever branded as dropouts by the keen eye of Calhoun. The consequence of this unprecedented survival rate was the gathering of droves of dropouts, scarred and wounded, converging at the heart of the pen. The scene transformed into a grotesque theater of violence, where senseless brawls erupted in frenzied free-for-alls, biting and clawing became their primal language. Devoid of any discernible purpose, a haunting display of mindless brutality. But day 315, everything has changed for worse, alpha males struggled too. They had to defend their harems from challengers. But as a population of mice thrived in this idyllic utopia, a new breed of contenders emerged, eager to assert their dominance. With numerous survivors reaching adulthood, a constant supply of a dozen formidable competitors stood ready for battle. The alphas, burdened by relentless challenges, soon found themselves weary and depleted. Some relinquished their defense of cherished apartments altogether, with the alphas faltering a dark shadow cast over the nursing females' sanctuaries. Rogue males, driven by their primal instincts, invaded these vulnerable domains with brazen audacity. The valiant mothers fought back, but the price paid was often a heavy one, with their young ones suffering the consequences. Stressed and overwhelmed, many mothers prematurely cast their pups out of the nest, their tender bodies ill-prepared for the harsh realities of the outside world. A few desperate mothers even turned on their own offspring, succumbing to the violence that engulfed them or abandoning their helpless young in a desperate bid for survival, leaving them to perish in a forsaken state of neglect. Yet, the tale of deviance did not cease at these grisly acts. Those mice, raised in improper circumstances or prematurely ousted from the nest, found themselves ill-equipped for healthy social bonds, their struggles extending into adulthood. Among the disquieting phenomena, maladjusted females chose isolation, akin to hermits retreating to empty apartments, an uncommon behavior in the realm of mice. On the other hand, maladjusted males immerse themselves in a relentless obsession with their own appearance. Hour after hour, they dedicated themselves to meticulous grooming, preening, and indulging in ceaseless self-licking. Calhoun fittingly bestowed upon them the moniker of the beautiful ones. Astonishingly, these males, consumed by their vanity, exhibited zero interest in pursuing courtship or engaging with the opposite sex, their desires mysteriously extinguished. Within the realm of this once utopian haven, the fabric of mouse society unraveled giving birth to a harrowing tapestry of abhorrent behaviors. He also had noticed in earlier utopias that such maladjusted behavior could spread like a contagion from mouse to mouse. He dubbed this phenomenon the behavioral sink. Within the confines of the city, 
designed to house over 3,000 mice, a peak population of 2,200 was reached. As the 600th day dawned, the city experienced its final birth before a catastrophic collapse unfolded, leading to the extinction of all its inhabitants. The mice endured a harrowing fate within their once thriving metropolis, succumbing to the relentless pressures of their environment. Universe 25's demise reminds us of the fragility of complex systems and the hidden dangers they hold. It prompts us to question our society's direction, the consequences of uncontrolled growth, eroded social bonds, and the loss of meaningful roles. Interpretations of the experiment differ, highlighting overpopulation, resource scarcity, and parallels to modern urban discontents. However, skepticism arises about the subjective nature of these narratives and the need for nuanced understanding. As the legacy of Universe 25 unfolds, humanity stands at a crossroads. The choices we make today will determine whether we embrace sustainable growth, social harmony, and collective well-being, or descend into the abyss of our own making, a behavioral sink from which there may be no return.